A comparison to Venice, Louisiana. Kristen Dodd is there. She has the latest. Kristen. Well, Rick, we're on the southern end of the eye wall, and believe me, we are definitely getting hurricane force winds. Let's go ahead and show you what has been going on. We have a lot of rain coming down at this hour, and with the wind, it is really starting to sting and bite into my face, and it's very difficult to even see it at night. We have signs being blown about, numerous reports of trees down, and we also have power lines down. You can see a tree right over there that was knocked down. And we also, in the last 10 minutes, have had temperatures blown off the radar, and also an air conditioning vent just was sent sailing off of the roof. So now we're getting thunder, and we have had some reports of lightning. Uh, I've been able to see that uh, in, in the eye wall. Very difficult to be out here. A photographer, Randy, is having a hard time uh, even standing, being held now by uh, our producer, Simon. Uh, a lot of people are just now uh, inside. They're kind of backing down the hatches, and we are about the only ones who have left out here. We do see a few cars, uh, mainly it's an emergency. They're without power. They're without phone lines. We've had reports of people have had extensive flooding. The road out of Venice is closed because there's two feet of water over it. And right now it looks like we're stuck here. We can't get out of town. Okay, okay Kristen Dodd from a windswept Venice, Louisiana. Thanks a lot, Kristen. Let's go quickly to the satellite picture. You can see some enhancement on the colorized view this morning. Storms still building near the center of circulation. 989 millibars. It's about the same as it was at uh, 4 o'clock this morning, Central Time. Well, we have some live reports for you. The first one, I think, is going to be with Kristen Dodd. She's in Venice, Louisiana, where it has been a very windy trip. Uh, Kristen Dodd with that live report from stormy Venice, Louisiana. Drifting and meandering across the state. Upper level steering currents are very weak. Hurricane force winds now for almost about two and a half to three hours, and we are continuing to get the very strong gusts as we speak. The rain has also picked up in the past half hour, and that is bad news for folks here because it's a very flood prone area. We are already seeing some signs of flooding. If we can pan over here, we do have some of the roads that are uh, now covered with water and even some of the lower lying areas. We see a lot of problems flooding. We have reports of roads closed, trees are down, and also we have a lot of power lines down. Even the signs are now beginning to be torn away from their uh, boats and gutters as they fly by. 
much, Chris and Don, reporting live from Venice, Louisiana, on the Mississippi Delta. Put some rocks in your pockets and strap yourself down, Kristen. It looks like a rough one there as this minimal hurricane uh, continues to move on shore. Let's give you all the people who have Kristen Dodd and Weather Channel crew uh, right there where the hurricane made land. There's just nothing to move it along, so it's going to hang around. It is a tropical heat engine with lots of moisture, tons of moisture, and it'll all be dumping in uh, the central Gulf region. So, again, flooding is a threat, and we'll continue to keep you updated on the latest situation. But that's it from Danny. We've got another flooding situation in a very intense land. And hurricane over Oklahoma. With further details, here's Marshall. That's right, Bruce. We do. We're going to follow the Northeast. Could be headed for trouble later today. Also, severe weather could disrupt the region with a cold front that's working its way to the south. Severe storms have already hit this morning in the northern plains and in the upper Midwest. Meanwhile, in northern and central Oklahoma, as Bruce just mentioned. Yeah.